Hey guys, I'm up here in Marina Del Rey today. We are looking at a Michelson 64 that uh, is not um, actually on the market, but is uh, either going to be or the, the owner is thinking about selling. So I'm showing some uh, good clients of mine who have a Michelson 60. And uh, the toughest part of my day today is making this video without Captain Sammy here to, to uh, film me or to give me my uh, video encouragement. Um, anyway, here we are up here in MDR. I'm going to turn the camera around and see, I don't even know how to do that. Where's the little chingus to turn the darn camera? Uh, hold on. So anyway, um, I'll just go like this. We are up here. See behind me, Nikki D, formerly JFDI. You guys probably remember this boat when I listed it um, a year or two ago, and it was uh, a little rough around the edges, but it's awesome because the new owners have breathed new life into it. They painted it, um, did a bunch of really cool upgrades to it, and it's absolutely beautiful these days. So uh, again, I'm gonna stop filming here, turn the camera around, and I'll uh, give you guys a little walkthrough tour and maybe even ask uh, David and Sheila, who own the Michelson 60, you know, why they're interested in this particular boat uh, and moving up. Okay, I figured out how to turn the camera around. Um, so, Michelson 64, uh, again, the boat got a new exterior paint job, um, new interior soft goods, new electronics, a uh, bunch of other stuff, but it's absolutely beautiful and uh, just a really, really neat boat. So I'm going to take you guys through a quick walkthrough tour here. So huge fishing cockpit on this and uh, coming up to the lanai deck. This is a great area to hang out. You're shaded out of the sun. You can observe all the fishing action without actually, without actually being down in the fishing cockpit in the way. We've got our molded in um, Michelson in transom bait tanks. So new carpet, newer upholstery. They even pulled out the windows and, and put in new uh, frameless sealed windows, which is really cool some new appliances. So huge galley on these Michelson 64s with uh, all the accoutrements of home, all the appliances you need. Um, but just a, a really great layout for hanging out, obviously a fishing boat, but great boat to have fun with family, friends, um, just super open concept. And uh, I was on one of our competitor sport fishers yesterday that was around the same size. And I was just, it always, blows me away at how much more boat uh, a Michelson is than a lot of the other sort of just fishing boats that are out there. I mean, this is a complete full beam master stateroom with a king size bed and a giant walk-in closet here. I mean, all cedar lined, but I mean, look how deep it is. Really nice size. And a uh, nice big head. Over to starboard. Here's a vanity. And again, this is a, I think this boat's a 99. So, you know, most of the, you know, what you're looking at is original. Again, the soft goods have been upgraded and stuff, but um, for the most part, this boat's, you know, pretty much original. But, you know, we do this companion way all the way down and get these giant storage cabinets. I mean, just a ton of storage on these boats. Nice big windows to let in a ton of natural light. We call those the trunk cabin windows. Um, it's just really important because when you're down here, you don't feel like you're in this dark hole. Every stateroom on this boat has its own in-suite head, which is huge. So this stateroom and head are the size of the stateroom, the master stateroom on most boats that are, you know, in the 60 plus, you know, even 70, 80, even 90 foot range. Um, and so just really, really comfortable accommodations. and then. You actually have a whole crew area. They have their own head, their own stateroom. This is up in the four peak in the bow of the boat. Again, their own head. So your guests are really comfortable. Nobody's sharing a head on this boat and uh, just really open, airy, a lot of natural light. And uh, going up here into the salon again. You can just feel, I mean, even the front windows, which have a cover on them right now, but you know, a bunch of storage underneath, 
but uh, letting all that natural light in just really opens it up and, and makes it again a, a more of a condo and a place where you actually could live and hang out and you don't feel uh, enclosed Bit, nice big tackle center there's a big seven cubic foot chest freezer in there controls sink our little owl friend to scare away the seagulls and then going up to the flybridge ice maker refrigerator again a lot of the uh, older electronics were taken out and redone it's got newer garmin screens they're gonna put another screen in there. Here's the old standalone uh, fish finder. Westmar nine, uh, actually I think they're six square foot fin stabilizers. See David up there on the bow, taking some measurements. And then we've got our uh, big old dinette that makes into a bed, aft tournament station, and then our ladder going up to the hard top. So just a, a really cool boat and uh, even cooler now that it's kind of have had new life breathed into it by the current owners who uh, un unfortunately for them are needing to sell but um, I want to see if we can catch David and Sheila and just see what uh, what they're thinking and if what they think of this new one compared to their their current boat, which is a Michelson 60. And interestingly, they bought it from the same folks who own this boat. So if they end up getting this one, it's from the same uh, same people they bought the 60 from. David. Yes, so, <laughs> How you doing? Doing great. Sorry Tape to- Tape measure in hand. Sorry to uh, put you on the spot here, but I just was curious here. Let, actually, let me do this. So you're- uh... So do you know how to turn these things around? A little. No, it's not Is that there. An iPhone? Yeah, it should be right. Yeah. All right. It's not just me. Okay. Awesome. Phone call. PJ's a busy yeah. guy. Yeah, a lot of phone calls. So sorry for that interruption. What initially drew you and, and Sheila to Michelson on the 60? Well, the 60 was actually a long story. I won't bore everybody with it, but we'd seen, <laughs> seen the boat actually on the river in Portland many, many years ago. And I just, the, the shape of it, actually, honestly, it was probably the Fexus design, the old Midnight Lace style. And, and I just, I mean, I love the way that, that he designed boats, and yeah. and I saw it go by, and I said, "What the heck is that boat?" And it took me a while to figure it out, and and I did. So, awesome. So in that boat, you know, we were just really blessed because I've been looking for one for years. I've met you probably a year before we found that boat, yeah. and uh, I was looking at 50s and everything else, and, and but I really wanted that 60, just be the shape, the just the style, the just the boat. I yeah. just really liked it. And it worked out where it just sort of popped on the market right before we were heading off to an anniversary trip. And PJ asked me, do you want to see the boat or do you want to see the boat? And I said, I want to see the boat. Get me on the boat. So he got me on the boat. And here we are today. Yeah. So, so cool. Yeah. So you guys had done, you guys had kind of done on that 60 what, what they did on this 64 and kind of breathe new life into it because it was older, a little bit yeah, tired it, in some ways. Yeah, I was, it just needed to be made ours, yeah, right? Yeah. And so my wife uh, loved to, we, we met a real nice gal that, that helped her work through the thing and, and redid all the, all the, everything inside, the whole boat's all redone interior wise and made it ours and, and it's virtually new inside and we love the boat we love it so much it's a problem because we're sitting on this boat because we ended up using it a lot more than we thought we would and and the michelsons just we love the way they're so light and airy inside they're so comfortable when you're sitting in place or on underway and uh you know you don't have to have a light on and a lot of the boats that are that they compete with you go down below and you're in a cave and, yeah and and so we just we just love the boat and uh you know sort of honestly sort of torn on changing it but but it's just our life and and our family and and we've just for example uh, spring break we had the sae from uh, oregon on board we had 25 people 25 college kids on board that was good fun <laughs> and then last uh, memorial this just this uh, few days ago we had a bunch of uh, old dgs from u of o there on the boat with us and and had a big group again and and we're just we just love it we're enjoying the boats and and we're just think we need more space Awesome. Well, what do, you, what do you think of this one so far? You know, I saw it when a few years ago, yeah, right? Yeah, well, and, it's... and it was sort of interesting because we just finished Thunderbird. Right, right. And so we weren't really in the mindset of, of 
looking at anything else and, and your brother said hey this boat's sitting here let's go take a look at it we walked through it and and uh it was interesting but it yeah. just at just, that point you yeah. probably hadn't realized how much time you guys exactly. were going to spend and needed more of that condo yes. on the water exactly so at that point yeah. we just weren't interested and, and yeah. our boat was everything we wanted it to be and right right down to the carrera marble right yeah. so yeah. so we weren't looking to change and and then a couple of years later now we're looking at it and honestly this this is not the same boat we looked at a year right. ago. No, it's so. it's definitely on a, on a different level than yeah. it was, um, which is always cool to see because, well, you did the same thing with the 60. I was yeah. kind of, as I was doing the walkthrough, I was explaining how, you know, when you buy an older boat, they, they do get tired depending on how the previous owner's taking care of them. But like you said, you also want to put your own personal touch yeah. on them and make them your own. And um, you've done that on your 60 and they've certainly done this uh, on the 64 here yeah so you take one of the older ones and, and and put some of the modern amenities in it everything from the lighting to the electronics and you start making it making it yeah current and yeah. and a boat I, I think the other thing that i didn't say earlier about the michaels is i don't care what year it is i mean they're pretty timeless yeah i mean it's not a trendy design where five years from now right. or ten years from now you go oh that was built during this period of time I mean, if we yeah. step off this boat, it's it's a 99. But if you step off it, you probably sit next to a brand new boat. You wouldn't notice any difference as right. far as the outside, the appearance. It's it's a timeless design. And, you know, I guess the other thing we just love about them is the beam. Yeah. I mean, that's one thing I really, I, I don't understand why boats just in general, they don't make them a little bit broader. Yeah. Because this thing, I mean, this is a big boat, but our, our 60 at, at 17.2, I think it is. I mean, it's hard to find a 60 foot boat 17 2. Yeah. And now we're on a 64 that's, what's this, 19 19 6? Yeah. 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 No, so. and, and, you know, I, I, as I was doing the walkthrough, I mentioned that I was on uh, one of our competitors' boats yesterday, and, and the beam, the, the feeling of just being in kind of a dark cave, especially when you go down below into the stateroom area. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's nice to have light, airy, and just bigger spaces. And, you know, well, the, the other thing is, I mean, we were looking at a couple of those the other day, and these are name brand boats, they're very nice boats, but I look at the crew quarters in the one of them, right? Uh -huh. And it's like, okay, so we're stumbling through the engine room that's right. sort of dark and small, and, and the cruise quarters is just forward of the engine room. Right. And they say, okay, so how do you get down there? Instead of on this boat, you just walk off the lower cockpit straight in, into the crew quarter. So that's the, the crew quarter entrance yeah. right there, right. And, and completely... On the other boat, you had to go through the main salon, down through the... the owner's area to right. get to the crew quarters right so it's it's nice to have uh, a crew area that's completely isolated from the the owner and the guest yeah. accommodations on yeah. the boat so. but i guess with that said one of the reasons i'm standing on this boat is my wife and i don't want to have to have a crew so yes. it's important to us to have a boat that we can comfortably safely and, and, and happily run without getting fights together yeah. Yeah. out there so there and we definitely have our systems on the 60 and it's a nice uh, nice easy docking in and out whatever the conditions are and and i'm sure if we take this one we'll be doing the same thing but that's that's something really important to us is to be able to run it by ourselves and so it's the visibility from the helm i mean that's the other thing nobody really talks about to have the both the forward and aft helm stations right. i love running the boat when we're going someplace if we go to catalina we want to be up forward you know yeah. and and that, that was the one thing on our 60 it's only got the single helm chair up there we don't have, have a companion chair next to it on this one it's it's something that's important to us but you know, we hadn't run the 60 before, and so right. you, you live with it a few years and you sort of learn what you, what you like and what you don't like. And, well, and, and the most stressful part of boating for most everybody is, is the close quarter maneuver, yeah. leaving the slip, coming into the slip. And with that aft station, having the sight lines oh, and the visibility is Well, it's beautiful. Priceless. And I run, I actually, I run ours at the, at, at the lower cockpit aft station in and out when I'm exiting the dock. I love being down there because right. I can see right up and down the side. Yep. And I, it's just a simple deal and I can run around. I'll, I'll just run it by myself. Yeah. So I can run it out, take it out, let it sit, run around, pull the bumpers in and then I will, away we go. Then yeah. I'll run up the stairs. Yeah. So. Well, and, and Captain Sammy has taught us the most important rule. What's that? Slow as pro. <laughs> that's it. Definitely. So that's, yeah, you take your time with things and uh, if you're going to hit something, do it going, going slowly. <laughs> that's key. They don't um, bounce much. No, no, they're not a lot of not a lot of give. No. Well, thank you very much, oh, my and uh, we're going to sign off here, and uh, we'll give you an update later.